Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of inspiration as well because many of you guys may know Yarden's story, but some of you may not. So I just thought I would share this little bit of inspiration and there'll be other inspirational stories along the way that we can look at with um, students' horses and where they've started from where they are today because this stuff really matters. Mindset matters, relationship matters, and the sky's really the limit um, because Yarden's story is a really, really common one. And he came to me, he was a beautiful boy. He was uh, only a baby, uh, three rising four, when I first got Yarden. And he was getting sold because sadly, he put his um, previous owner in hospital um, because he had a bolting issue. He would get um, quite afraid and bolt and sadly, um, yeah, his previous owner got quite shaken up with these, um, what she thought was random reactions to um, what he would respond to. And sometimes there would be um, a reason for the bolting, um, whether he got scared or something, and sometimes she couldn't figure out why he would just randomly bolt. But yeah, when he put her in hospital, it was the straw that she just decided that it was too much for her to... Um, continue on with his education. Um, he'd gone to two other trainers um, in the meantime to try and help him with this, um, which sadly didn't um, end up working out. But lucky and blessed for me because you can see how much this beautiful half horse means to me um, that we have had this amazing relationship and journey. Um, and it's all thanks to these philosophies and mindset and the bringing in um, to these lovely space of how to overcome um, a, a issue within um, a horse. Okay, so the story goes... Um, amazingly, I had been to the Baruch Horse Festival and saw the most wonderful Frisian uh, Valiant performing and it really ignited my heart and I loved the Baruch Horse Festival, thought it was a really fabulous um, event and I really wanted a Baruch Horse so I could participate in such a fabulous event. So my best friend came along at that Baruch, first Baruch Horse Festival festival that I had been to and she had owned a Frisian and her Frisian also um, had bolting issues and um, wasn't the easiest of horses and she went in, on a magnificent journey with her horse um, so it was really inspiring for me to when I came uh, um, across Yarden, Yarden's story that I was really interested to see um, and meet him and to really understand what was going on with him. And our first meeting, it was absolutely beautiful. Um, I could see how this beautiful, kind-hearted horse was just a bit misunderstood and in a really kind way, we connected beautifully on our first session. Obviously, I knew about his bolting, so I was not um, riding or prepared to ride him at the time of his meeting. Um, all I did was a little bit of liberty training with him to see how we would connect. And we connected like clockwork. It was just so um, harmonic. I didn't even really, um, he had no understanding of liberty before this, so... We just worked in harmony and I just knew in my heart that he was coming home with me. Me meeting Yarden for the first time back in November 2018. So it was a very fabulous time and his beautiful old owner, previous owner, who is the most gorgeous person, knew that we were um, a really good match. So I was so blessed that she offered Yarden to me and that I would have the opportunity to work with him. And at the end of the day, I didn't actually even care about uh, riding out. And I was just so thrilled that we had such a strong connection at Liberty that for me, it didn't really matter if we rode or not. And so- So it was very exciting, Yarden's first day home with me. 
And so it was a really exciting day when he came home for the first day and we settled him in and he seemed quite at home here when we first got him here. And all I really wanted to focus on doing was just getting to know him. And so I spent a lot of beautiful time with him in the paddock, just getting to know him and just giving him a lot of love. Um, so I could really get to understand what made him um, tick. And that was such a beautiful time um, that we spent together. And this is why for the first part of anything, it was like for me, just getting to know him, getting this relationship into a beautiful space. And so we slowly progressed and I really enjoyed our liberty time. And then I started some in-hand work with him. And then eventually we looked at doing some saddle work. But for me, it was really important that I could try and eliminate any possible thing that would make him upset. So that's why I started him in a bitless bridle to make sure there was no pain related um, in the mouth with his bolting. Also, um, I did a beautiful... Um, with regards to his back, just making sure he was in the first saddle because that could um, once again eliminate any saddle fitting issues for pain related um, responses. Um, so then we could move on to some really nice spaces. Um, it was as we progressed, it was just from we went from strength to strength and he actually never even bolted on me at all because I kept within both of our limits. And I didn't feel that I needed to push him at anything. Um, it was funny because in my head, I had the beautiful goal of going to the Broke Horse Festival, um, which was at that time, 11 months away. And it was a really great space because we did a lot of beautiful Liberty work. And that was our performance that we got to at the Baroque Horse Festival, bringing our relationship to that beautiful next level of going out in front of a crowd and being together. And he did phenomenal. It was just such a beautiful time. And from there, like it's so rewarding for me to see a horse go from a state of um, being almost called dangerous to coming into a space where they are their confident, authentic selves. And now I ride yard and bridleless and we have the most amazing time together. He's so confident. He has bolted on me once and that was because I was doing a photo shoot and I had this fabulous red dress and he was a bit scared of the texture of the dress on his back. So he had a bolt. I came off and we had a laugh about it and then I just jumped back on we just let him know that he was in a sp safe space and didn't make a big deal of the red dress and he overcome that really quickly because of all the previous training that I'd popped into him of knowing that he's in a space safe space with me so yeah just a little bit of inspiration for you you can see a little bit of the clips that I've got of him and it's a really beautiful time that you can have with your horse as you get inspired to live your dreams with your horse.